As of 2022, the global fashion industry is said to be worth over $1.7 trillion. That's a lot of money, guys. And today we've seen a lot of individuals starting from scratch, building a strong fashion brand that has made them millionaires. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some gems, accessories, items that I've been buying of recent in order to improve my skill as a luxury headpiece maker and a bidder. Some of these things were bought months ago weeks ago i even bought some as recent as last week i'm going to be sharing everything in this particular video these tools are some of the things that your favorite fashion designers both here in nigeria and across the globe these tools are some of the things that they use they couple together in the most aesthetically pleasing way to create some of these beautiful beautiful dresses that we see online on instagram TikTok, facebook Pinterest, you see a lot of dresses and you are like, oh my God, how did they sit down to create these things? It was not rocket science, guys. It is the ability of these fashion designers to create items and couple accessories and beads and gems together in the most aesthetically pleasing way that usually allows them the opportunity to create some of these gorgeous, gorgeous dresses. Some of my favorite designers of recent are Matopeda Atelier, Vicky James, of course, Imagine by Bukola, Becca Needles and Stitches. There's this guy that is based, I think in Brazil, or somewhere like that anger loses i'll try and link his name on the screen some of these people are people that i watch online there's also a very fantastic luxury headgear maker out here in portacot her name is didilu so she inspires me a lot i like to see her post online and kind of pick tips and tricks from her from time to time when i see some of the things that she makes these people are people that i found on my explore page that's why i encourage people on here to not just be scrolling especially if you are trying to improve your skill as a dressmaker as a milliner as a bidder don't just be scrolling online aimlessly try and pick inspiration from other people and practice 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 i digress guys if you'd be interested in seeing some of these things that i have to share with you guys in today's video please make sure you watch the video all the way through i'm going to be sharing people that you can shop from websites that you can shop from how to differentiate original from counterfeit accessories because of recent i've been saying that some people deal in selling counterfeit accessories this is not them trying to be wicked it, the, the thing is that these counterfeit accessories are usually cheaper okay some people prefer to buy these counterfeit items for the you know maybe because they don't have enough money and they are able to walk around it so i'm just going to teach us how to differentiate these counterfeit items from the original ones and where to shop from and every important information if i miss out sharing any important information after you've watched the video all the way through please don't hesitate to just let me know down in the comment section ask your questions in the comment section subscribe to this channel like this video what else that's all Let's get started. All right, guys. So the first item I'll be showing us that I got of recent are cloth stones. I have them in different colors here. I believe I bought this particular pack of three different colors from Appliques by SAF. All right. I've talked about her countless times on this channel. I'm going to try and leave the spelling of her name on Instagram on the screen. Feel free to reach out to her if you're interested in buying. I bought these um, Marquis ones over here in color black. And I have the teardrop ones in the iridescent silver color and the clear silver color. I also got these big size cloth stones. Let me bring out this one as an example for us just so we see what I'm showing us. I've used this to make a couple of headpieces on the channel. I believe I use this for the most recent beaded headband tutorial that I shared on here on the channel. I use these cloth stones. It's a bigger size teardrop cloth stone, right? And I bought this from Appliques Trims Tubo on Instagram. I'm currently working on having a partnership with her to film like a tour of our space out here in Portacot. We are still in the conversation stage. Hopefully she's able to, you know, as I was saying, I'm currently trying to work on a way to film a tour of our shop just to share with you guys because I shop from her a lot. And even on her Instagram, she always posts stuff. And I feel like some of us would like to just see her space on here just to get a feel of our space basically. So if you are also seeing this and you want me to film that video for you guys, you guys should go and drop her DMs nicely, please. You guys should not invade her DM. Just ask her to create time for us so we can work something out and I'll be able to show you guys her space. I also have these teardrop cloth stones in gold iridescent. You can see that the gem on it is iridescent and the base is golden. I got this from Mr. Okoro in Rumamasi. This is what it looks like. These are, I'm just going to start off by showing us the cloth stones that I have in my stash. I also got these cloth stones from Appliques Trims Tubo. 
what else did i get from appliques trims tubu i got these um teardrop cloth stones these big size ones I, bu I bought a bunch of different colors from her i bought it in this green i bought it in this other type of green and i also i believe i bought it in navy blue as well but i can't okay the navy blue one is here as well i've used this to also create a headpiece for a client and i think i shared the tutorial on the channel i have a lot of tutorials if you are new here welcome to the channel please catch up on my older videos just so you're up to speed with everything that i'm sharing here i got this bigger size teardrop cloth stone i got this from mr okoro in room Massey. i got this from appliques by saf and i also got this heart shaped cloth stones from appliques by saf i use it in making the 3d applique headband that I, I mentioned that i made for my clients and chem i believe that tutorial is already on the channel so if you've not seen it go check it out and see how i incorporated these um cloth stones into that particular style of headpiece do i still have cloth stones here i also got this i believe i got this from mr okoro in room Massey. i got this black cloth stones from mr okoro in room Massey. And I think that's about it. That's all about the cloth stones that I have recently. I have other ones in my stash, but in the first version of this particular video that I'm filming where, where I talked about stones, gems, accessories, I've showed you guys all the other things that I have in my collection. So I feel like it will be repetitive of me to just keep coming back, showing you guys the same thing. So if you've not seen that video, I'd link it on the screen. Editing for me, please link that video. Link the video on the screen. Click on that video in the show notes and go check it out after watching this tutorial. If you want to see all the videos that I've linked in this video, please scroll to the bottom of the description bar. You will see about five videos there. Click on any one of them and it will take you to the next tutorial that you can watch after watching this video. All right. So what I have here is what we call flat bottom beads. I got this from a sewing accessories shop close to my house. I would have loved to link this woman, but our shop is a bit too close to my house and I don't want people having an idea where I live because the internet is a weird place. So I would not be linking the vendor for this particular type of accessory, but it's a flat bottom bead, flat bottom bead. And you can get it from any sewing accessories shop in your location. This is pretty easy to find. This pack like this was sold for 200 Naira. It's pretty cheap and it also makes your work look nice. So when you're starting off, when you're still practicing and stuff, I don't recommend that you start buying the expensive accessories from the jump. You can start off buying the cheaper stuff, practice with them. And then by the time you become very good at it, you can now start investing in more expensive types of accessories. So I bought two packs of this particular type of flat bottom bead from this my vendor that I said is in my area. So look around your area for the nearest sewing accessories shop to you and shop from them, look around them. You might find something even nicer than the things that I'm showing you on here. This other set of items, I believe they are called, I don't even know what they are called, honestly. They are just really cute. One thing about me is I love sparkly stuff. Like, if you want to carry me away, just put shine shine on something. I'm going to drop my money for it. Like, it's ridiculous, guys, the way I love shiny stuff. So, I saw Applique Streams Tubo. She posted this on her story. I don't think she even made it to her Instagram page. And the moment I saw it on her Insta story, I'm like, please give me this in different colors. I knew that I wanted to use it as a brooch, but after getting it, I was now thinking maybe I should use it for something nicer than just a brooch. I'm still yet to figure out what I want to use it for, but whatever I use it for at the end of the day, you would see it on the YouTube channel, right? So stay subscribed and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out any tutorial when I'm showing you guys how I use these things to create stuff. So it's shaped like a butterfly, but it's made up of cloth stones and What's this thing called cup chain so they created it you can even hand make this thing honestly if you guys want me to share a tutorial on how to create a handmade applique similar to this thing that we have here let me know but applique streams to bo she sold this for 250 naira each or 300 naira each i can't even quite remember but it's either between 200 and 300 naira each i bought um how many did i buy one two three four five six seven i bought seven Different, or was it no? Was it 5500 she sold them? Honestly, please take a screenshot if you are interested in buying this. Take a screenshot right now. Ask her how much she's selling it. I think I'm mixing up the prices now. So please don't quote me when it comes to the prices of these things. Reach out to the vendors. Ask them how much they're selling their stuff. Don't go with what I'm telling you. All right. So that's that about the butterfly shaped applique that I have. Do I still have other types of applique? Yes, I do. So I have these fabric flowers in black. 
and brown. I bought these last week actually. I'm filming this video on the what's today? The 29th of April. So I bought it sometime last week. I bought this from Mr. Chibike in mile one. Yes, Mr. Chibike. I've talked about him in a different video as well. Editing for me, link that video on the screen. So check out that video if you want to get his contact. See a quick tour of his shop. Feel free to check out that video. In that video as well, I shared a tour of well, not really a tour. I just give you guys a glimpse of Charity's shop as well. She's also in my one market. So if you're interested in shopping from any one of them, reach out to them. I bought these from Mr. Chibike. Take a screenshot if you also want to just have it in your collection for whenever you're going to shop. This is for people that are located in Portacot. If you live outside of Portacot, please look at the local fabric sellers in your location. I reach out to them guys as i was just editing this video i realized that my microphone timed out oh my god anyway i got these appliques as well from i think applique trims tubo i bought this in this color green and i also have it in gold i've used the gold and the green ones in other tutorials as well like i said earlier if you are new here catch up on my older videos you'll be able to see some of these things that i'm sharing with you and how i go about using them in creating stuff for myself as well as my clients the next thing i'll also be showing us is another bunch of appliques that i got back in 2020 i bought this from appliques by saf or saf and in this video i was telling you guys that a lot of you guys were correcting me from an older video telling me that i shouldn't have peeled off this back portion of this applicator i should have just used my iron to press it down however if you are going to go about using your iron please get a cutting piece of fabric lay it on top of the applique before placing your iron don't place your iron directly on these appliques because chances are they will melt and they will spoil but if you place a fabric on top first before ironing everything will go smoothly so shout out to those people that were correcting me you guys i love to see it i love to see it so much because i always tell you guys that i'm not just here to be teaching i also want to learn from you guys and a lot of you guys do a fantastic job at teaching me as well and i'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you at this point i just kept talking and talking and talking but my, my camera apparently had cut out so i was talking about this applique and just giving more details i can't remember half of what i said but i will also go ahead and show you guys the golden one that i also got from the same vendor so in case you're interested take a screenshot and ask her if she still has it in stock remember i said i bought it like three years ago so she might not necessarily have this particular one in stock but she will have something similar that you can also use for your beautiful beautiful outfits that you go ahead to create another thing i'll be showing us for the sake of today's video is this particular applique i believe i got this where did i buy this applique from yes i bought it from mr okoro in Rumumasi. this single piece here was 1800 naira like i said do not quote the prices that i'm calling here i'm telling you how much i bought it and i bought some of these things months ago the prices might have reduced or increased so please reach out to the vendors and ask them how much they're selling this particular one as well i was talking about how it used to be on a particular dress that i made back in 2020 when i was still scared of sharing sewing accessories and sewing tutorials on the channel then i was still doing hair tutorials and i made that dress i didn't even share a tutorial of that dress it was a monostrap dress if i have a picture i'll try i can i cannot guarantee because i mean it was for my birthday in 2020 i made that monostrap dress and i added this applique to the waist area but that dress now does not fit anymore it's a bit too tight and my style has changed honestly it was a bit too revealing and now i'm in my modest era right so I cut off this applique from off that dress and now i use it for other stuff i used it for that white brim fascinator that i made i think like two or three weeks ago that part where glue was showing for those that watched that tutorial you know what i'm talking about the part where glue was showing i cut out a little piece of this particular applique and i just placed it on that portion i believe that was what i was talking about here for those that don't know the tutorial i'm talking about just scroll like two or three videos from this particular one that you're watching you will see that white brim hat go check out that tutorial so you know what we are talking about i'll also go ahead to be showing you guys another bunch of accessories that i got from charity in my one i bought these gold um I don't even know it's, they call it gold chain but typically they use it for like linking stuff i plan to share some new forms of tutorial on the channel and you guys will see how i go about incorporating these gold chains to the tutorial so basically you can either use it as a strap for your handbags i've used this as a strap for the beaded handbag tutorial that i shared on the channel for those that have not seen it go check it out i will try to link it on the screen but if i don't link it just search for 
beaded handbag for me be a lawry just type it in your search bar on youtube and i believe youtube is going to show you that video so any tutorial you're looking for just put my name after it for me be a lawry headband tutorial for me be a lawry handbag tutorial youtube will share it and i also got this magnetic clasp i believe we know what this clasp usually does you use it on handbags and stuff like that so I also got this from Charity in my one. So just in case you are into making handbags, either crochet handbags or beaded handbags, and you're looking for where to buy this type of clasp in Port Harcourt, Charity is your plug. And I've shared a video where I talked about Charity. So go check out that video so you get a contact. All right. So the next set of things I'll also be talking about for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, just give me a second. I believe I'm going to skip to that part soon. Aha. Uh -huh. So we are going to be talking about lapels. And I have two different types of lapels. For those that are like, what is lapel? So you know your brooches. This, this lapel is what we call... Or this lapel is the pin that you use in attaching your brooches to your outfit so there are two different types i bought this from the lady the vendor that i said is close to my house i would have loved to plug her in but eh -eh. take a screenshot ask your own sewing accessories vendor in your location ask them if they have this i believe they will have it i bought these ones i believe one was 200 naira i, I can't i honestly cannot remember and you can just use it i'm demonstrating how you can incorporate this as a lapel i'm just sharing how to use it right here so it's a type of lapel however there's another type as well and i'm also going to go ahead to show you guys that type that type is the one that i used for the tutorial on how to make a brooch on the channel again if you're looking for those videos just type how to make a brooch for maybe a worry on your youtube search bar it will show you that brooch i use this particular type of lapel pin and honestly they are, they are both the same but this one is cheaper this one they sell one for 15 naira. That other one, the longer one that I showed us earlier, they sell one for I think is either 150 or 200 naira. I'm not so sure. So I'm done talking about those ones, and now it's time to move on to the next item, which is these appliques. I don't even know is it applique or brooch we'll call them. I don't know. But I plan to use this as well for a tutorial that is coming up really soon. I just pray for grace. Of recent, I've been getting quite a number of client orders. So I find myself making things for clients and I don't have time to film videos for the channel. Well, I shouldn't say that. Most of the things I make for my clients, I also film them just so that they can be repurposed as tutorials for the channel. So I have a lot of upcoming headband tutorials. Well, not a lot. I have like two upcoming headband tutorials all the other things that i've been making i've not been filming and i still have i'm still in conversation with some clients so anyway anything i do you will see it eventually so just patience patience stay subscribed turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the things that i come on here with so at this point i believe i was just talking about these appliques and how i plan to use them on the channel so very very soon that tutorial will go up on the channel and you guys will see how you can use it now it's time for these crock stones guys when you're looking for embarrassment this is the crock store you should go and buy and i kept talking about it in this portion of the video when i thought my mic was connected so basically i bought these crock stones because i thought i have seen a wolf i know that thing they say about a wolf they run belly this particular a wolf it almost ran my belly but i thank god for saving me so i got these crock stones from the vendor that i said is close to my house and she was selling it five five hundred and it was like a pack of maybe like 50 pieces of these stones i'm like ah, ah 500 hey fumbi you have hit jackpots because Mr. Okoro, on the other hand, he sells his own crock stones, I think 50 pieces as well or 25 pieces, I can't even remember. He packs his own in little bags like this and he sells them for 1,000. So I was like, ah, for me, you have hit jackpot, you are getting your crock stones for half the price. Mr. Okoro is not going to collect your money again for a year. I got them and it was time to use my pearl setting machine on these crock stones. Guys, tell me why my pearl machine was just crushing these crock stones. Like, I'll just place my pearl machine on it and we just hear pray and it has broken it has compressed flat i was like hey what did i buy and you know me i was buying something from a new vendor for the first time so you buy it small small i went to buy like i think eight packs or something so basically i wasted my money i was so angry well i wasn't angry i was just sad i was like Fumbi, this is the reason why you shouldn't be jumping at the smallest or slightest sign of a wolf so at this portion of the video i was just talking about how make sure that when you are buying these crock stones anyone that you see that has hole underneath i believe i'll still illustrate in another portion of the video where my where i was able to connect my mic properly when you see crock stones that has hole under please don't buy it i'll show you the original and the fake one so you basically get to differentiate them so these are the crock stones that i bought from mr okoro this is what it looks like i have this in gold oopsie so this is a single piece of the crock stone that i bought from mr okoro 
and this is the one that I bought from my lady close to my house. Look at them closely, guys. And please, take note of what I'm showing you so you don't fall victim of what I fell victim of. I will it runs belly. For those that are not Nigerian, cheap stuff can be dangerous. That's the most literal way that I can I can translate a wolf the wrong belly for you guys so this is the 500 naira pack crock stone this is what it looks like anyway so this is what the 500 naira one can we see that it has like holes underneath it has like holes under it can we see can we see these little holes and this is what the top looks like when you see this type of crock stone dust your slippers and run except what you want to use it for, you don't want to use pearl setting machine. You just want to glue it onto fabric. You can get away because that's what I plan to use it for because I'm not going to throw it away. I plan to just, instead of using my pearl setting machine to attach this crock stone to fabric, I will just use my glue to use it to accessorize something. But when you want to buy the original one, the original one most likely will be more expensive than 500 naira per pack. And it will not have any hole under it. Can we see how this one is? Is smooth under and all around and it feels heavier when you hold this and you hold this beside each other this one feels very flimsy and lightweight this blue one right here feels pretty flimsy and lightweight while this one feels you can feel it feels quality it feels kind of strong and durable so take note of that when buying accessories and also especially if you've created some form of relationship with your vendor when buying from them ask them will it change color is it good quality? That's one thing I love my vendors about. They, they, don't, they don't deceive me, basically. I was being silly when I was thinking that, oh, maybe Mr. Okoro was, you know, being, um, it was inflating his prices for me with the Crockstone. And clearly, I got them and I saw the difference, right? So, when you've created some form of relationship with your vendors, you know the ones that will tell you the truth and the ones that are not so straightforward. So, ask them, this thing, is it going to change color? Is it original? Where's the expensive one? Where's the cheap one? Show me the difference. Tell me the difference. Just be very open with them and they will tell you the truth. Okay, so that's that about these crock stones. So I hope we've learned a lesson. And if you've had any experience like this, that maybe you bought something and you got home and you regretted it, let me know. Let me know. Let us know each other. We the Awoof lovers that used to buy things that will not go on. <laughs> we'll bite our fingers at home. Let me know down in the comments. So these are the other original crock stones that i bought from mr okoro in different colors i believe i've shared them in a different video all right what else do i have for us the next items that i've been spending my she coins on are um cup chains and i bought these i bought these two in fact i bought these three the three of them are from applique streams to go i bought these three uh, rows of cup chains from her ask her for the price take a screenshot if you want and ask her how much she's selling the reason why i don't want to say how much i bought is because most likely the price has changed and i don't want a situation where you guys run with what i say and be like oh for me told me that you sold it to her for 200 naira how come you're selling this five these prices change weekly like you go to the market today they'll say the price is this next week it has increased so please reach out to these vendors and ask them how much they are selling their stuff another thing that i bought of recent are uh, what we call they call it rose the sellers in the market call it rose and there was a particular video I saw online from a particular creator that I like. And I saw something similar to this on one of the headpieces that she made. And I was like, hmm, this is what this girl used. So I'm yet to try it out. I just bought four different colors. I bought pink, blue, black, and red from Mr. Chibike in my one. And I plan to use these to create something. If what I'm thinking in my head matches what i'm expecting i'll share the tutorial you guys will see it but these roses are sold 250 naira i said i won't say the price but i'll say let me know what you think how much do you think they are selling this thing in the market you guys before you before i tell you the price comment the price that you think it is in the comment section but each one one single rose like this is 1000 naira here in potakot river state nigeria my lagos people if it's cheaper in lagos I, I can understand because Lagos, things are generally cheaper in Lagos than here in Port Certain things are cheaper in Lagos than in Portaco. There are some things that are cheaper here. Honestly, thing, it varies, right? So anyway, the cocoa is that I bought this 1,000 Naira each. So this three like this is 3,000 Naira that you're looking at like this. So when you see your favorite creators creating headpieces, the person that I saw this thing on our work is Didi Luso on Instagram. 
you guys should go check her out she's one of my mentors i love her work so much and with me generally the fact that i call someone my mentor it doesn't mean they're my best friend or my bestie i watch their stuff i look at their work online and they are my mentors from afar so when you want someone to be your mentor you don't have to go into their dm and be saying please be my mentor like you can be supporting their work when they are selling course patronize them buy the course and learn from them that's also you being a mentee and the person you're learning from is your mentor anyway me and digressing anyway i digress so i saw this on one of the headpieces that i saw her make i'll leave that headpiece on the screen for you guys and i was like where did this girl get this thing from so i went to charity shop the other day i saw it hanging i'm like please give me this thing and i thought maybe she would say maybe it's like 200 or 500 next thing she was like one is 1000 i say jesus please give me three because the row on its own i think it was about 10 pieces there as i said if i buy this row that's ten thousand naira. i'm like no please just give me three pieces i'll try it out use it to create something i'll hopefully share the tutorial and you guys will also learn so anyway this is what they call a rose bead the bottom is flat like so and the top looks like a rose clearly i bought this from charity again for those that are interested whenever you're shopping from these people you guys tell them where you're coming from because all these people they don't give me any discount of it they don't give me one naira discount the price is a price with these people so please let them know that i'm plugging them in and sending vendors their way and one day one day they will sponsor a video or they'll start to give me discounts on the things that i buy from them anyway i also bought this from i bought this from charity for a particular video that i want to film for you guys hopefully honestly i have i have such big plans for the channel but time energy life life just keeps you know popping up and it, it kind of deters me from doing all the things that i want to do that i really hope to do for the channel but so help me god in may june and the coming months god creates time and just gives me grace to be able to come through for you guys like i really really would love to so i bought this earring um i don't know what it's called but they are earring um hooks for some earring tutorials that i want to make for us on the channel i've promised you guys earring tutorials since last year and i've not come through guys i'm so sorry i would work on it and i will share a tutorial and i also bought these teardrop beads teardrop crystal beads i have this in gold and i think i shared it in the last haul the last sewing accessories and gems haul that i shared on the channel i shared this this is what it looks like and you see a lot of all these like luxury headpieces maker using these in creating awesome awesome headpieces that you see online all right guys that will be all for today's tutorial was i chatty was i talking a lot in this video this is how i am like a child in a candy store when i'm around sewing accessories guys i love sewing accessories so much beads so you should see me when i'm shopping in these stores like i look like a baby asking questions and my eyes are like shining and stuff so apologies if this video is too long if it's too long skip to the part that you want to skip to but don't come and be asking me a question that i've answered in the comment section i will not answer you because most of the times when my videos are long they're not long for nothing i'm sharing information and most times when you skip these videos and skip the information and you start asking questions that i've answered in the body of the video it's usually not nice so please even if you cannot sit down and watch it once watch five minutes today tomorrow watch another five minutes watch another five minutes until you finish the video so support my hustle and support my work by watching my videos all the way through but that's pretty much everything that i have for you guys in today's video i hope you all enjoyed watching i'm wearing this dress that i made on the channel my only problem with this dress is that the neckline is it's kind of the tussle neck is kind of tight so next time i've known that i will have to like reduce or increase the allowance that i put for the neckline anyway i digress thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any questions concerning any of the things that i shared in this video please do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section i'll be sure to attend to you like this video okay like the video as i'm talking now please i'm begging like the video hopefully we've hit 30,000 subscribers by now i don't know honestly if we've hit 30k thank you thank you thank you guys for 30,000. let's keep spreading the word sharing with our friends supporting watching videos and staying subscribed to the channel thank you guys again and i can't wait to see you in another tutorial very very soon bye